How's it? IndianCowboyDocSports.com coming at you here on Wednesday, September 21st as we get this video to you. Have your free pick winner in just a second here between the Texas Rangers and the Minnesota, or, uh, Texas Rangers and the LA Angels in just a second. I forgot to tell you what's up in our neck of the woods. Um, and then I'm also going to give you an early football lean. Uh, this could change after our football card comes out tomorrow. But uh, let me give you an early football lean here too as well. Uh, we are 4-1 and one in our last five free picks here. And 12-4. Uh, and four. Uh, 17 and 7, uh, 112 and 86, 114 and 88, and uh, it goes on and on. So I hope we'll get you a nice free pick winner here today. Uh, hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboys have been around for, um, you know, been around for 18 years and nine months. Doc Sports has been around for 52 years. Been around a long time. How this works is our best selections are over at DocSports.com. It is under Arun Shiva or Indian Cowboy. Our next best selections are our free picks and leans that we do here for you every single day. Uh, we try to do a live show for you in the evenings, and uh, we're working on doing that consistently. I'm going to try to do a live show tonight by 9.30, so check our Twitter for updates. I've been with Doc Sports for, again, 18 years, 9 months. Doc Sports has been on for 52 years, have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. How this works is our best selections are over at DocSports.com with free $60 premium selections on the link below pinned to the comment section at the top. I'm sure, or be sure to check our Twitter for our consensus polls, our trends on late night ball games, our hot takes on sports, and tons of other useful content on Twitter as well. And we also put our live show podcast there as well. So, um, what's up in our neck of the woods? Well, uh, we have a, we're passing in baseball today, our rare baseball pass. Uh, we will likely have uh, two baseball selections tomorrow. We will have seven to eight football selections this week. Excited about that. Hockey back to back winning seasons plus 12,500. Uh, we will have a lot of content for you uh, coming up maybe probably tonight. We'll try to do a video for you tomorrow. All of that good stuff, okay? Um, and I think that is about it. Hopefully, you'll join us for uh, the baseball, you know, as we try to make a, a run here. We're plus 11,000 or so in baseball now, but let it be baseball. Let it be our football card, which comes out tomorrow. Be sure to jump on our live show. Be, let it be hockey. Let it be our MMA, which we're now 13 of four with seven unit selections, or let it be with golf. Uh, be sure to join us, and we're looking forward to the NBA and college basketball season as well. All right, let's get to your free play winner today. For your free play today, I like the Rangers uh, today. And uh, remember, the Angels, they just had a pitching change, and I think it's useful to give it to you here. Angels lost 1-9 to nine in their last game, but they did beat Seattle by scores of 5-2, 2-1, and 8-7 over Seattle recently. Mariners have scored nine runs in their last game on nine hits, and the Angels only scored one run on eight hits, which is interesting. Dane Dunning here uh, went four innings, six hits, and four runs against Oakland in his last game. Seven home runs in his last six games as well. The Rangers are favored here, which is interesting. Um, Dunning did go six innings, seven hits, and two runs against the Angels last time. Tucker Davidson went two, five, and four against Houston, six, seven, and seven against Houston. But I still like the Rangers here. I think they're favored for good reason here. That Davidson has a seven ERA this year and a six ERA last year. The Rangers are actually playing somewhat pretty well, but had a tough series against the Rays. I think they bounce back here. The Angels are one and four in the last. I'm sorry, I should say, yeah, the Angels are one and four in the last five against right-handed starters, and the Angels are just three and seven in the last ten meetings between these two teams. So keep an eye on them as it relates to uh, football. I like the Rams and Arizona under as well. Um, you know, the public likes the over here, but I can tell you that, I mean, this could change later on this week, but right now I like the under. I just think the Rams are not going to give up uh, 27 points like they did to Atlanta, and they give up 31 points to Buffalo. They have to bounce back here on the defensive side of things. Plus, Arizona played much better in defense in the second half of the game against uh, the in, in Vegas. Arizona gave up 20 points in the first half, and then they give up three points the rest of the game. So I think Arizona's figured out their defense. I think the Rams are going to play much better defense because the first two weeks they did not play well. So put it up, plus not to mention the fact Arizona gave up 34 points to the Rams last time and 30 points the time before. I think for all those reasons, I like the under between these two teams uh, today as or, or uh, this week as well. If you want one more lean in baseball, I would take a good look at, there's one more that I had pegged for you here. I would take a look at the over maybe between the Cardinals and the Padres as well. I think there's a chance that Mikola uh, or Miles gets hit here. He's kind of struggled in his last two starts, right? Six, five, and three, and five, eight, and four. He's given up three home runs and five walks lately. Last time he pitched against Milwaukee, he beat him eight, four, and two. That's pretty big domination. So, you know, I expect him to possibly struggle here against, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say Milwaukee. I mean, last time he pitched against San Diego, um, 
He has not pitched against San Diego, but he has struggled lately with back-to-back, -back, uh, giving up seven runs in 11 innings. So he could struggle here. And then you take a look at Blake Snell as well. As it relates to Snell, it's interesting that he's favored by minus 130. Uh, he pitched against St. Louis and went 6-2-2. Two two. He did lose his last game. He did really well against Arizona, 7-4-1. Uh, but he struggled against the Dodgers, 4-7-5. Um, you know, I think this game can go either way. I originally leaned on the over when I saw this game. Uh, take, a, let me check one thing else real fast here. Yeah, the Padres come off back-to-back -back games of, I'm sorry, the Cardinals come off back-to-back -back games of zero runs. They have to bounce back. Uh, the Padres obviously come off a nice 5-0 win yesterday. And their offense has been relatively decent. You know, the total last two games has been 8-8-7 eight, eight, and seven for the Padres uh, and 8-8-7-5. Eight, eight, and seven, five. And notice this one totals at 8.5. I think this one might go over the total. So your free play today is on the Rangers. I also like, I probably should switch the free play to St. Louis and San Diego over. Um, in fact, I am. I'm going to switch the free play to the over, okay? The free play is on St. Louis, San Diego over. The more I talk about it, I think I like that one better. And I like the Rangers today and also the Rams and Arizona under in the NFL. That's your video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day. Please take a moment to like and subscribe.